White people are scared. That's right. White America are a bunch of cowards. And why are they a bunch of cowards? Why do they cling to their gu guns? Guns are because for cowardly people. They're afraid. Because there's going to be time for retribution. And there's going to come a time for reckoning for all the things that they've done to so many people. All the pain they've put the black community through. All the hell they put the Asian community through. How they oppress Indian Americans and Chinese Americans and East Indian uh, Americans and the indigenous peoples and the Japanese peoples and all of the other groups of people in the world. They live with their wealth and their greed. They live with all their money and all their comfort and all their power and position. But it's going to change. It's already changing and the tides are turning. So they cling to their guns because they know they're not strong enough to fight against the black community and all the other people who are so much more stronger than all of them. And they're going to, they're afraid because they know of the, how they treat people with inequality, how they have their supremacism, they believe they're better than everyone else. You know, uh, it's, things are going to change and the, the table is going to turn, so they're afraid. And that's why they keep voting for Republicans and right wing bigots. That's why white people only vote Republican. That's why white people make everyone else do their dirty work. That's why they never go to wars. That's why they never join the military and they make people of color do that. Because they're cowards and they know that, that they can't handle it themselves. And that's what's going on. They live in their comfort. They never have to work. They never work. They never labor. And all the things they've done, they drag the people of Africa out. They walked into that country and started grabbing them. You know, and the, as the African people and the chiefs did everything they can to keep their people from becoming enslaved. They all just grab them and drag them away into hell and in chains. And that's going to come back to white, to white America very soon. And they're afraid. They're very afraid. Because it could happen to them. And they would deserve it. You know, they're, uh, they're afraid because they never stood up. No, white people have never stood up for the black community and people of color. They've never did, done anything. You know, um, a bunch of people, uh, one of these right-wingers wrote, wrote me a letter talking about the abolitionist movement and all the things that whites and Christian and, um, you know, all these religious institutions were doing to fight against slavery. Bullshit. Spare me your propaganda. I mean, it was obviously, you know, so what? It, it, even if, it, So what? There's some abolitionists, some white Christians and abolitionists that tried to freeze or fight against slavery. Why? I'm supposed to applaud you for doing what you're supposed to do? You don't get applause for doing what you're supposed to do. Uh, someone else wrote me about the sugar strikes in the 1700s where tons of abolitionists and, and uh, uh, anti-slavery movements in the, in the 19th century and, and hundreds of years ago, the people were boycotting sugar. And this was putting pressure on plantation systems. Oh, right, sure. Uh, we're supposed to applaud you for putting a little, a little extra, less extra sugar in your tea. Oh, please spare me. Spare me. It's not enough. I don't care how many hundreds of thousands of soldiers died in the Civil War. It means nothing compared to what you've done to the black community. I don't care... Um, uh, uh, about your propaganda trying to claim that uh, oh, white people are slaves too all, all your shadow slavery that uh, whites went through oh so what so you know it's a bunch of lies that whites are making up now to try to make themselves look guiltless what they, um, so they're trying to claim that Irish and Scottish and Welsh and British were put into slavery as well <laughs> so what so what if they were that doesn't mean anything that doesn't make you any less guilty for all the horrible things you've done People are trying to claim that whites were enslaved by Africans, the Barbary pirates. Who gives a shit? Doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean a thing. So what, you're going to condemn all African people for what a few pirates did to them? So what? You can't get out of this guilt. There's, n there's nothing you can do to deflect it. I don't want to hear stories about your ancestors coming, living in poverty and working in coal mines and dying of black lung and, and, and working their asses off. Because they didn't. You enslaved people made it made them do it all for you. It was people of color doing that. Spare me your lies. I don't want to hear the lies about your ancestors in battlefields dying and bleeding. Oh, what? So you joined the military and so you could go out and oppress people with your colonial wars and oppression? We're supposed to start weeping for your
your filthy families. No, you people have pushed inequality. You have your supremacism beliefs, and you condemn and blame entire demographics of people for for what uh, 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 you know, um, for for what a few criminals might do. And you 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 condemn black people, and you you've you've made their lives miserable. And we can't live with your inequality. And you're afraid because the time of reckoning is coming, and the clock is ticking. Tick. Tick-tock, tick-tock, drink up, because you're all going to get what you have coming very soon, very soon.